Close your eyes and bring your awareness to the breath. Try to be balanced right here, not leaning into the future, not leaning into the past, not leaning to what you like or dislike. Just be here and notice what's actually happening. And then try to figure out if it's not going well, what would you change? Would you change the breath? Or would you change your focus? Or would you change the image you're holding in mind? These are the things that help bring you into balance. One of the images the Buddha gives of the, the practices of being an acrobat, trying to maintain your balance. And going off course is when you lose your balance. And the Buddha says there are four ways of doing that. You see this especially in your dealings with other people. This is one of the reasons why you want to bring this sense of balance into your daily life, not just while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but have a sense of your awareness being balanced. Otherwise you lean in the direction of what you want out of somebody. So you treat them unfairly in the sense that you give them more than they should be given, or treat them better than you would other people. Or you lean in the direction of being angry at somebody, in which you treat them poorly. You can lean in the direction of delusion, you don't know what you're doing. Or you lean in the direction of fear, you do things for people, not because they deserve it, but because you're afraid of them. And as the Buddha said, when you lean in any of those directions, you lose your honor. You lose your fairness. And you become an unreliable person because people who are already leaning have a tendency to lean even further. Nobody else can depend on them. It's like a tree. The tree is leaning in one direction. It's bound to fall in that direction. So you want to make sure your mind doesn't fall. Keep it upright. Keep it balanced. And remember that as you go through, through life, it's not a question of what you like or what you dislike, but what's right? What's the fair thing to do? What's the right thing to do? Hold by that. You get a lot of psychologists saying, well, you are your emotions, so you have to be honest with your emotions. Let them show. But the Buddha has higher expectations for you. You're not your emotions. Emotions are just a kind of fabrication. And you have the ability to step back from them and decide whether they're going to lead you in the right direction or not. Take advantage of that, because that ability to step back is what makes us human beings. You see common animals, their emotions are all over them. In other words, anger comes in, fear comes in. You don't see it only in their eyes, but you see them in every part of their body. With human beings, we can step back. We're not totally immersed. And so meditation is a good way of stepping back and making yourself into a real human being. Someone who doesn't lean in the wrong directions. Someone who can be depended on. And someone who works for his or her own long-term good interests. Because the Buddha saw that we're not just feelings. He doesn't say what we are, but he does say that we have the ability to put an end to suffering. And so these are the skills we're going to need. So think of going through life as a skill you have to master. And one of the first skills is learning is how to stay upright. Don't let yourself lean over in the wrong direction or else you'll fall. Well, then, don't die.